Hi Sagittarius, what's up and welcome back to Sagittarius Empire. This is your girl Sag Empress. I hope everyone is doing well. Welcome to your March 2024 monthly reading, okay? Sagittarius, if you are new or you have not, please make sure that you hit that like button, all right? Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, hit the post notification bell that you be notified when I post the readings for you. Thank you so much. Also, Sagittarius, join us on a Patreon um, where you get all exclusive readings and extended readings uh, with no ads, Sagittarius, okay? The Patreon membership is the first link in the description box below and the second option. So the first option, make sure that you get your member support badge. It is $1.99, all right? Um, thank you for that. But if you'd like to join a member Patreon, Sagittarius, this is where you get your member support badge and all exclusive readings when you join a Patreon, okay? Um thank you guys for all your love support i truly appreciate you sagittarius like you subscribing to the channel you liking the video guys hitting that post notification bell this sends it out to the world and let the world know um this message is here for them so it can go further okay for other people in this world so thank you guys for sharing and making sure that you like the video subscribe to the channel so we can go further all right sagittarius um also visit me on tiktok at sagittarius empire my other channel on youtube sapphire sun for more readings okay um all the information that you need to know about me is in the description box below, Sagittarius. I am open for personal readings. Book one with me if you need to. All right. Um, I do want to say, Sagittarius, with the monthly reading, um, I do pick a name reading. Okay. Every monthly reading is, I will do a pick a name reading at the end. If you would like to be a part of the pick a name reading, all you have to do is like the video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and comment your name below in the comment section. In a sec comment section. Okay. So with the pick and name reading Sagittarius, I will pull in your love life, your career for the month that we're in, March 2024. So if you would like to, uh, you know, participate, go ahead, guys. Okay, it it might just be your name that's be pulled next time for the pick and name reading. I will announce the pick and name reading at the end of the reading, and I will pull on, you know, whoever won their energy. All right, but if you like to join Sagittarius, three things: like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment below. All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you, Sagittarius. Let's get to it. So without further ado, Sagittarius, I feel like you guys are hustling. All right. Hustling, getting yourself together here in March. I feel like you put a lot of work into February and March. You're you're still working, but I feel like you're going to reap some rewards. All right. Right now at the bottom of the deck, we have your overall energy. All is fair for you, Sagittarius. You know, this is Libra's energy. The scales are being balanced. Law of attraction here. Things and the thing is, I feel like you're in an energy where you are pulling so much energy towards you with this law of attra attraction. With, um, like your alchemist, like you have the, I mean, everything you need to pull in the energy to attract to toward you what you want because you've been doing some cleaning up here, Sagittarius. Okay. Um. Also, I feel like. Um, at the bottom of the deck, overall energy, we have joy here. So there's joy here in the situation in the month of March. We have the firefly. I'm um, not firefly. This is, um, oh my goodness, dragonfly here. All right. And I feel like this is a lotus flower. So I feel like both of these are like, um, good, good energies here. Okay. Joy is all around you. You just need to trust. All right. So all is fair, Sagittarius. Let's keep going. Okay. I already pre-shuffled the decks here. So to save some time. I'm going to keep going here. Get some more energy out for you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. March 2024. This is for Sagittarius. Give me four more cards. Overarching energy for Sagittarius. Thank you. Overarching energy. March 2024. Sagittarius. March 2024. Sagittarius. We got here. Look at you blissed out. <laughs> Celebrating you are Sagittarius. Okay. Reaping the rewards. You are here. Blissed out. Number 19. Number 10. It's a completion of cycle here. Indulgence. Let's see. Overarching energy for Sagittarius. March 2024. Holy Spirit. Thank you. What is this for Sagittarius? Okay. Oh, my God. We got grief here. We got shadow work. All right. And we have in your bag. Sagittarius. I feel like. And then we have the bigger picture. You guys are creating a bigger picture. Okay. Um. Wow. I just want to pull. Hold on real quick, Sagittarius. Really quick. Okay. Real quick. Because I can't be on here long because I, I feel like I talk too much in here. Let's see. We're going to hurry up, okay, Sagittarius? Let's see. Bliss out. This is fulfillment happiness, okay? You're for all, okay? Everything is happening for you. Chase experiences that are feel electric here. So this is fulfillment, Sagittarius. Grief. You are griefing about something that has ended, all right? 
um, in the March. And then we have shadow work here, number 18. That's like Virgo's energy. Um, Reframe your harmful narratives here. This card calls on your face. Oh, oh, oh my God. This card calls on you to face parts of yourself that you've been taught are bad. Ooh, look within the dark corners of your psyche and heart. Consider the gray area where no part of you is all good or bad. Have the courage to face what you may have been conditioned to believe is unworthy of sight, seeing light. All of you is worthy. So, I mean, you, you are facing something, Sagittarius, where somebody have taught you or you have seen, like, somebody said, this is, no, this is bad, you shouldn't. But no, it's not. I mean, you got to embrace this. This is you. Wow, you're in your back here. Money is falling from the tree here. Let me see. Wow, Sagittarius. Number 13, this grief, okay? And this talks about sadness. It's very tough ending. This car calls on you to let yourself grieve what was and what should have and could have been. Whether you lost someone in a love initiated breakup, when fired, have been fired from a job or held in lingering feeling of sadness, you can't quite place this as, you can't quite place. Um, this is a time to let yourself be sad. We don't control grief. Grief controls us until we let it move through us. Sunrise is just over the horizon, okay? So there's some type of ending of something, Sagittarius. I feel like you're ending your ways or ending something about you, Sagittarius, after you're doing some type of shadow work, okay? Um, in your bag, Sagittarius. New job, side hustle, a physical gift, direct deposit hits. So some of you guys may be getting a direct deposit hit, Sagittarius. It's like you wasn't even expecting it. <laughs> This card means there is an opportunity to make money. The universe is dropping hints about where you thrive and money matters and where you can make the greatest return on your efforts. It's up to you to take the opportunities that present themselves. Those are the opportunities that present themselves Sagittarius here, okay? New job, side hustle, something like that. Um, let me do this one and I'll be done. The bigger picture here, all right? Um, see your ideal future, plan ahead, think big. The white picket fence was once the ideal for most. Today, you might define a new version of the pick skeet, um life based on your personal values and aspiration. Keep this idea when in mind choosing where to invest your energy. This card shows that when your focus is on what is right in front of you and you and the um, you know, when when in reality there is are there are much bigger fish to fry. Will you remember the situation is a few years from now? Does it have to be impacted the grand future? Let's see. What are you building that's meant to last? I feel like you're seeing you're seeing your ideal future a little bit different than it was before, Sagittarius. Okay. I know you're like, why is she reading these cards? All right, I'm done. I'm leaving alone. Sagittarius. So we're going to go ahead and talk about it, okay? Put these cards down. I don't take too much time talking about that. Let's see. Sagittarius. You in your bag, baby. Something you're disconnecting. Yeah, I feel like you definitely you are visiting things with yourself. You could be disconnecting the way you thought about yourself or felt about yourself. Okay. Let's see. And then let's get the rest here. We got joy here at the bottom of the deck. Overarching energy is joy. Let me get some more. You need to trust Sagittarius. March 2024. What is this for Sagittarius? Overarching energy. What's going on here for Sagittarius? March 2024. Overarching energy for Sagittarius. Thank you. Overarching energy for Sagittarius. Holy Spirit. All right. Thank you. Provide. We have here trust. It came back out. You need to trust Sagittarius. The situation, what's going on at hand. We have deal here. Dealing with situations, I feel like. We have love, all right? And I am going to clarify a little bit more. We have provide here, Sagittarius. I feel like you guys are going into a place where you have to provide for your family here and adapting. All right. Let's see. Adaptation here. Enjoy. We're going to go ahead and go through it, okay, Sagittarius? Ten card spread here for you, Saggy. Um, we'll look at your love life. We'll look at career. We'll look and see what Holy Spirit wants you to focus on, what's on your mind, um, you know, money, everything. So stay tuned, Sagittarius. Let's get to it, okay? Right here, number 23, we got Jordan Energy. Your <clears throat> angel number, you have the zest, a zest for life, and you are eager to experience anything and everything possible. 
You love change and excitement and need both to feel truly alive. For you, life is an adventure to be lived to its fullest. I am adventurous. I feel like you guys are taking a step and doing what you want to do to get where you need to be. All right, Sagittarius, let's get to it. Like the video, guys. All right, if you have not, hit the notification bell. So your challenge that you may face this month, let's see. What's the challenge here for Sagittarius? The Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is your challenge, Sagittarius? Okay. Wow. I mean, I'm using some different cards here. This is a different deck. It's not the normal tarot deck. But I'm seeing on this card, the Four of Wands here, Sagittarius, the challenge may be is just being around other people. We're going to see here uh, what's going on. What... um. What is your energy starting the month of March? What is Sagittarius energy, Holy Spirit? Look at you, the Queen of Wands. You're popping out in your own energy here, Sagittarius. And I feel like you're not um, afraid to be there, okay? Something says, something is boring to you. I feel like you're doing things different here, Sagittarius, okay? Let me see. What's on your mind? We have the temperance, patience here. Some of you guys may be thinking, why is it, why is it taking so long here? When is it going to happen for me? I'm tired of waiting, blah, 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 Okay. Anybody in particular that you're, that you're dealing with in March 2020, Okay, let's see. We have the world here. Whoever it is, it's, it's a completion of a cycle, all right? It's an ending here, Sagittarius. What does Holy Spirit want you to focus on? We have the will of fortune. Wow. They want you to feel, focus on what's faded, what's destined to come in, Sagittarius, for you, okay? Destined and faded for you, Sagittarius. Like, why are you worried? This is destined and faded. Um, couples love here. We have the seven of swords. What's going on? Singles love. We have the hanged man, Pisces energy. All right. All right, Sagittarius. Look at your career, your work. We have the high priestess here. You guys could be keeping something a secret. Whatever you're doing here, you're not telling everybody about it. You're keeping it a secret to yourself here. How are you looking? Your money look. How's your money looking here? The six of swords. You're, you're going to common waters. I feel like you guys have to leave a situation to go towards something different here to make better money. Okay. Leave a job here. Remember something about losing a job, Sagittarius. You guys may be losing a job, leaving a job here, but it's to go towards something else bigger to get your back here. Okay. Your advice here, Sagittarius, the seven of cups here. You have many opportunities. Think about it before you take that leap here. What you don't see coming at the bottom deck, we have the ace of coins. We have the six of wands. We have the five of cups. We have the page of coins. Even though that you may be going through something disappoint, disappointing in the month of March, Sagittarius, there is something new here for you with the Ace of Coins here and the Page of Coins. This is like good news, good luck that's coming in where you're going to be celebrating six of, six of Wands and like you deserve this energy. And not only that you know that you deserve it, you work hard for it, you have people that are celebrating you, but it took a lot of losses, Sagittarius. It took a lot of, of you know, leaving things behind. You know, it took a lot of figuring out what's, what works and what doesn't and to um, get to where you are now. And then we have the Nine of Cups. You have love coming in also. Okay. Wow. So at the bottom deck, it looks great, Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and get to it. Let's clarify. Um, we have the King Nine of Cups here at the bottom deck again. The Seven of Swords. All right. So we're going to see what's going on, Sagittarius, for you. Let's clarify these energies. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angel. Just for my Sagittarius. Thank you. Block all negative energy. Block all evil. What is this for Sagittarius? March 2024. Welcome to March, Sagittarius. Welcome, babies. Welcome if you're new. Thank you guys for being here. All right. Sagittarius, let's get to it. Let's see. Why is this Four of Wands the challenge, Sagittarius? That's really crazy. Four of Wands talks about stability here, okay? It talks about freedom here. All right. Um, so why is the Four of Wands a challenge here for Sagittarius Holy Spirit in March? Why is the Four of Wands a challenge? What's going on? Why is this Four of Wands challenge here? We got the Ten of Swords because something is coming to an end here, Sagittarius, okay? The Temperance. Wow. There's your energy right here. Hmm. Something is coming to an end here. Um, Temperance here, the Nine of Swords, all right? Something in a family dynamic, this four of wands, energy, a house, something is coming to an ending. Holy Spirit, give me one, give me one more. What is, um, they're telling me to get three cards, but I don't have three. This is a. Let me get two cards, Holy Spirit. Can you make it clear with two cards? Because I don't know, I might spread it too thin. Um, Tell me why. What's influencing the four of wands to be this challenge? What's influencing the four of wands to be this challenge? What well, we have there, the fool. Some of you guys are afraid to take a new leap of faith, Sagittarius, okay? there's The challenge is something requires you to leave something, okay? Something where there, I feel like, 
you need to look at things a little bit different here. The four of wands to the ten of swords and the fool. There's a blessing in disguise. Even though that something has to end, Sagittarius, there's a blessing for you to take a new leap of faith elsewhere. Some of you guys are hanging from this cliff and like, you know, there is a is a new journey for you, but you're afraid here. Some of you guys are afraid to leave home. Okay. Let me clarify a little bit more. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, I thank you for this energy. Sagittarius, March 2024. Why is the four of wands the challenge for Sagittarius? Why is this four of wands the challenge? Let me see. The whip here. Conflict, debate, hard work, abuse, pain, physical activity here. Birds, gossip. Give me one more. Why is this four of wands the challenge here? Why is the four of wands the challenge? We got mountain block, obstacle, delay, enemy challenge. Okay. So with this mountain here, I feel like Sagittarius, the challenge is I feel like you guys want this four of wands energy. You want the relationship. You want the marriage. You want success here, Sagittarius. You want freedom here. And it if it, it takes you to get this to leave a situation or to do something different or to take this leap of faith and some of you guys are free. This is an obstacle, but it's really not an obstacle. It's going to bring you so much success. The four of wands represent success here, victory and happiness here. And this is what you need to do. You feel like it's an obstacle, but it's not Sagittarius. Don't be afraid to do it, okay? Wow. Your hard work is going to pay off here. Some of you guys just need to put the, put the physical activity in, Sagittarius. All right, so right now in your energy, Sagittarius, your energy starting the month of March is the Queen of Wands, is you. Some of you guys could be in a situation where it's like boring. You, you don't like where you are. You know, it's like I need to make a change here, okay? Um, I feel like Sagittarius, you you are, you know, being a Sagittarius, you don't care what people think, what they say about you either. Why is this Queen of Wands, Sagittarius energy in the beginning of March 2024? Queen of Wands energy, thank you. The death. Yeah, I told you, you guys are ending your old ways here. You're like, no, thank you. I do not. Something is, I need to read that energy again. Hold on, Sagittarius. I got to, okay? I said I wasn't going to do this, but I got to do it, okay? I got to do it. Okay. So interrogating shame, reframing harmful narratives. This card calls on you to face parts of yourself that you've been taught are bad. Look within the dark corners of your psyche and heart. Consider gr the gray area where no part of you is all good or bad. Have the courage to face what you may have been conditioned to believe is unworthy of seeing light. All of you is worthy. All of you is worthy, Sagittarius. If you don't know, now you know all of you is worthy, Sagittarius, okay? I love it, baby. Let me see. All of you is worthy. I feel like you guys are in a situation where you're like, you know, this doesn't deserve my energy. This is boring. I'm done, okay? I got, I'm, I'm doing something different here because I know there's a blessing for me. Yes, this is a blessing, okay? Six of Cups has always, you know, me thinking... Anyway, not referring to the past of Six of Cups anymore, all right? Six of Cups does not mean the past. This means blessings here, Sagittarius, that's coming toward you. Ace of Cups, the Six of Cups, the blessing, and the Nine of Cups. But only thing you had to do is put the work in, okay, Sagittarius? Holy Spirit, tell me why Sagittarius energy. What's influencing Sagittarius energy, the Queen of Wands in March 2024? What's influencing this Queen of Wands, Sagittarius energy? Look at this, the Four of Wands. The four of wands, you guys know that you have to do something different, okay? There's that four of wands in a challenge. Like, you know something is boring. You know you have to do something different. You know that you um, can't worry about what people thought in the past or all of you is worthy, Sagittarius. And I figure it's like, this is what you're figuring out here, okay? Give me one, Holy Spirit. Why is the queen of wands the challenge for Sagittarius? I'm not the challenge, Lord Jesus. The energy, why is the Queen of Wands, Sagittarius energy in March 2024, Queen of Wands. Why is this Queen of Wands, Sagittarius energy here in March 2024? Look, woman here. A uh, woman, wife, questions herself, female, female, family. Something about a woman here. Give me one more. Why is the Queen of Wands, Sagittarius energy? Why is this Sagittarius energy in March, Queen of Wands? We have the key. Unlocking answers, destiny, openness. Yes, you're unlocked. You have the key. Now you figure out Sagittarius that you have the key to something here. I feel like also you guys <clears throat> have worked so hard in situations trying to change things in your life. And you're like, when is my time coming? I've been patient here. Okay. I've been patient. When is it coming? Something about a woman may be very significant, Sagittarius. All right. 
Let's keep going. The star, the king of pentacles, and the queen of cups. You're getting answers to something Sagittarius. All right. You're meeting your wish fulfillment here. Look, give me, tell me, tell me why is the death here? Where, tell me why is the death here? Yeah, some of you guys are definitely leaving a job here and in a job because another one's being offered towards you. Ace of Cups here, another blessing somewhere else. Nine of Cups. Eight of Pentacles here. What's influencing the death? What's influencing the death of the spirit? The Six of Cups, the Empress. I feel like blessings are definitely following you down, follow, follow, flowing to you. All right, let's see. Holy Spirit, why is the temperance here? So what's on your mind here is the temperance. Why is the temperance here on Sagittarius' mind? I feel like, you know, what's on your mind is like, you guys, like, I deserve more. I deserve this, you know, new beginning. I deserve, you know, getting this award. I just, you know, I deserve this. Where is it at? Temperance I've been patient for. You know, where is it at here? Why is the temperance on Sagittarius' mind? March 2024. Why is the temperance energy on Sagittarius' mind? Why is this temperance energy on Sagittarius' mind? The Ace of Pentacles, because there's a blessing coming towards you. You guys know that you deserve better, okay? Um, Queen of Cups here, the Knight of Wands, the Four of Cups. Something wasn't satisfying anymore. Yeah. What's on your mind? It's like, I've been patient here. I've been bouncing myself out. I've been waiting here. And on your mind is money, this new blessing, this new opportunity, this Ace of Pentacles here. Okay, what's influencing this temperance on Sagittarius' mind? What's influencing this temperance on Sagittarius' mind? What's influencing this? We got the Empress because you guys know your worth here. Like you, you, some, I mean, may, I, I feel like everybody does, but a lot of you have a lot of ideas on your mind, Sagittarius, and you know what you're worth. You know what you have to offer here, Sagittarius, with the Empress energy, Taurus energy, okay? Also, if like you guys are working on something, you're just waiting for it to hit. You're just waiting for it to hit. You're just trusting. You've been patient and you're just waiting on it to hit. Okay. Let me see. Let me clarify. Why is the temperance here on Sagittarius' mind? Why is the temperance energy here on Sagittarius' mind? March. The mouse here and we have the sun. Look at you. Success, victory, happiness here. Hmm. Some of you guys, a small few, you may be, you know, thinking about having a baby here. and You feel like you've been robbed of not getting the baby that you want here because we got stress, nerves, depletion, or you just feel like you're not going to have it. Like, well, am I ever going to get pregnant? Am I ever going to have this baby here? You know, you're stressed out, nerves here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then uh, some of you guys may be thinking like, you know, I've been patient, waiting for things to open up the door to open for me or get this raise it is job here and i just feel like i'm depleted here i'm not getting what i deserve and you guys know what you deserve here all right there's a positive outcome something happened in your energy here sagittarius okay the empress wow i feel like you are really noticing what you have to offer the world and you're you're giving it you're doing it okay Holy Spirit. So right now, anybody particular that you're dealing with the month of March here, we have the world. All right. Whoever it is, may, it may be coming to an end. Why is this world? Whoever this person said to you, dealing with sniffing in their life. Who is this person with the world energy? Who is this person with the world energy? The Ace of Wands here. Okay. And the strength, the Nine of Cups here. Hmm. What's influencing this energy? What's influencing the world? What's influencing the world? The star. Wow. Okay, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Five of Cups here. Let me see, because the cards are trying to pop in reverse here. Tell us about this person and this world energy. What's going on here? What's going on? We got the Tower. We have the Moon here. Could be a Scorpio. All right. Does it have to be? Could be Aquarius. Um, praise, feeling, emotion, imagination. Here we have Tower, Isolation, Authority, Official Buildings, Loneliness, Ego. Somebody may have a big ego, Sagittarius, here, but it feels like this person wants to, they dream and they hope, they dream about you. They hope for you to have faith that things, you know, may progress towards you here. Um, also, you may be doing somebody Sagittarius. There may be like. Hmm, let me see. 
Like somebody may ask you also to have, you have to travel towards this job here. Like you had to leave some people at home. You had to leave somebody that you love. You could be in the military. You have to travel towards this, but um, it's going to put you in a new cycle here where you somebody's like congratulating you like hey hello you you're like your official person it's a new beginning for you and you pray for this this is faith and this person here is reaching out to you said hey Sagittarius we see your work online we really love what you do um would you like to have this new beginning at this job or do this this that and the third and you're like yeah sure and here it is this person has asked you to go okay somebody could be reaching out to you also there could be um the seven of swords to the star to the ace of wands here Somebody may want to heal something with you, all right, Sagittarius. It could be going a lot of different ways. Whoever this person is, the world energy. Some of you guys may be not want to even reconsider connecting with this person anymore, okay? But it definitely could be dealing with somebody in business. This business thing, because they see you. They see your work here, all right? Or also this person, they could be in business, Sagittarius, with a star. They could be an Aquarius here, and they want something new with you, okay? There's two people on this card here. All right. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. Let me, I want to clarify that. Holy Spirit, let me hurry up. So right now we have the world energy, Holy Spirit, and the um, person that's significant in Sagittarius energy in March 2024. Why is this person here? What is this world? What is this about this person? Why is this person here? Set it to his energy. What do we need to know? World, the world here, this person, world. Let me see. Visionary. Um, you are ahead of your time. Rise above earthly matters and above through life with grace here. <clears throat> this person has vision here. Okay. Visionary. They, I don't know. Sagittarius. I'm going to leave it here. Let's see. What Holy Spirit wants you to focus on. Um, will of fortune this is what holy spirit wants you to focus on you guys may definitely be winning a lottery you maybe you need to play the lottery sagittarius they want you to focus on having fun here all right no not holding anything back not being afraid of things sagittarius just being this to you that you need to be here sagittarius okay all right why is the will of fortune sagittarius um holy spirit why do you want sagittarius to focus on his will of fortune and her energy um the five of pentacles okay they want you to know, Sagittarius, that you have been, <clears throat> you know, you possibly have been suffering here or feeling less than feeling out, left out in a cold or where you didn't have what you didn't need to, you know, pay the bills or make the money or, you know, your money has been far stretched, Sagittarius. They want you to know, Sagittarius, that what you need to focus on is the will of fortune. Good things are coming in toward you. Don't don't keep your energy in this grief right here. Just know that you don't have to worry about that. Like if somebody left you out in the cold, Sagittarius, Holy Spirit is like, Sagittarius, it's better for you. The will is turning your direction. You waited on it, Sagittarius. Now your wish is being fulfilled. Not only are you being blessed, but you're going to be able to share your blessings with someone else. Okay? Holy Spirit, you want Sagittarius to focus on this will of fortune energy and march. Um, What's influencing this? Will of fortune, what's influencing this? Thank you. The you! Look at you. You, Sagittarius. Ten percent of the nine of swords. You slayed the devil in your dreams. Okay, you didn't let nothing attack you. You said I refuse to be stressed out about something here. Okay, I'm going to trust you. I'm going to have joy. I'm going to love. I'm going to deal with it. I'm going to adapt to this situation because I'm going to be able to provide one day. <clears throat> so you, what's on your mind? You have been patient. You know you have. You've been sending this out to you know the world. Like you know, I've been patient, Lord. I've been patient. Um. Spirit guys, you know, what's this for me? And then like, don't worry about Sagittarius. I'm bringing this in to you. Okay. And they're like, stop worrying about anything. Don't be thinking about your less than or out in the cold. Like you don't have enough. You do. Don't be worrying about it no more, Sagittarius. All right. Holy Spirit, why do you want Sagittarius to focus on this will of fortune? Why do you want Sagittarius to focus to be on this will of fortune here? The clover. Because look, luck, gambling, opportunity, chance, hope, small happiness here. The clover. All right. Sagittarius. Wowzers. Number two here. Fish. Business. Finances. Commerce. Gain. Abundance. Sagittarius. So with the tempest energy, what's influencing this? <laughs> what's influencing Sagittarius? Even though you guys did not want to be patient, even though it took a long time, Sagittarius, now it's here. The will of fortune is destined to come in, Sagittarius, for you. And Holy Spirit's like, Sagittarius, it's coming in. Stop worrying about that lack. 
Stop worrying about how people left you out of the business conversation or left you out of the family or left you out of the friendship or left you out of the relationship. Don't worry. Your time is here. Okay. Um, Holy Spirit, why do you want Sagittarius focus to be the Wheel of Fortune? Why do you want Sagittarius focus to be the Wheel of Fortune, Holy Spirit? Why do you want Sagittarius focus to be the Wheel of Fortune, Holy Spirit? Because we got love. Okay. Consider it. See all see see the good things. See the good in all things. Heal through the power of love. And there we go. Okay, you have to love regardless. You in love your enemies regardless. They don't like you. Who cares? Love them. The person that bumps at you to like, love them. Because that's the way you're gonna pull good good energy in towards yourself. Okay. Who's from Jamaica? <laughs> um, play, enjoyment, stay in the present, go with the flow and live, live in happiness and joy. And this is what Holy Spirit wants you to focus on. Live in happiness and joy. Let go of the ego if you have one Sagittarius. Okay. Accept responsibility for your own actions. I just want to pick this card up to show you guys what it looks like because it just says it all right here. Play. It says enjoyment. Stay in the present. Go with the flow and live in, in happiness and joy. Look at this card. This person is having a good time on this card with these people and it looks like they're winning a lottery too. Okay. It may be that Holy Spirit wants you to focus on collaborating with other people here, Sagittarius, or getting out more, spending more time with family, or you may be meeting people, Sagittarius, where you will start calling them family, Sagittarius, or definitely go play the lottery. Okay. Because you are going to win. That's what I'm Look, Y'all throw me just a little bit. Okay. You know, my cash out baby is um, PayPal. All right. Wowzers. Okay. Sagittarius. So let's see. Hold on now. All right, Sagittarius. Let me hurry up. Couples love, baby. Let's see what's going on, couple. Because with the seven swords here, you couples, it's like somebody's stealing something from you. The cat done stole the fish, okay? And it's a fresh fish. You about to fry that, baby, okay? You ain't even good yet. And the cat stole it. And you're like, oh, you dumb cat, okay? And you running after this cat. And this is like a butcher. Like, you got a restaurant here. You're like, you, you devilish cat. You stole my fish. I'm coming to get you. But the cat, gonna, he's going to run. You ain't going to catch that cat. He's too fast. You're not going to catch him. The, the fish is gone. So couples love. What's going on here with couples at the Seven of Swords in March 2024? Couples love Seven of Swords here. What's going on with the couples here? Page of Cups. Couples, I see that your person is coming back to give you an apology. Um, You guys, you, you may be disconnected from side, but this person at this time in the month of March, okay? You may be disconnected from them. All right, something may be ended with you and this person. Um, they may come back and say, Sagittarius, I want to have a new passion beginning with you. And you may say, no, you may not want to heal this or make this right with this person because, you know, there, it was a tower moment here. Okay. Where you went through loneliness, you went through this because this person may have a big ego or you had Sagittarius. Um, this person could have definitely been full of themselves. They drank up their own cup and said to give it to you. Holy Spirit, tell me about what's influencing the Seven of Swords with the couples. What's Thank you. Um, the Five of Cups. Yeah, you guys didn't feel fulfilled in the situation with this person. You felt unfulfilled here. All right. Yeah. Somebody just left you out. Ten of Cups. This is family here. Six of Wands. The Moon. So you guys didn't feel good. You're not feeling good in this relationship with you couples here. All right. Seven of Swords for the couples here. Seven of Swords for the couples. Seven of Swords for the couples. Anchor, work, profession, settling down, durability, stability, long lasting here. Um, you guys, so I see that couples, you guys definitely may be taking this apology from this person and just healing things with them to focus on how can you continue to grow this tree. It looks like you guys have been going through, been together for a long time. All right. With this tree, how big it is, how much life it is. And I feel like you guys don't want to let that go. Um, if you don't, if you haven't been together with this person for a long time, couples, it seems like you guys have a strong connection here. And, um, there's some type of karma that you had to go through. Okay. Why is it seven swords here for couples, seven swords for couples, your yeah, partnership. So ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results here. Freedom always depend on yourself to get things done. So I feel like, you know, this person still wants a partnership with you. Sagittarius. Definitely. <clears throat> I feel like you still want to work things out this person and they're coming back with an apology. Okay. So singles love. So couples, it definitely seems like you're going through something here. And maybe that's why the four of wands is here. Where it's like you guys are, some of you guys are in a relationship where you're at. You're like, I'm done with it. Okay. 
um, whatever happened was a blessing in disguise and I'm able to take this leap of faith, but I'm, I'm afraid to leave because I've been with this person so long and I don't even know how to get on a date scene, you know, or I don't even know how to start by myself. Some of you guys are in a situation where you just rely on this person to pay all the bills. You are a stay at home mom, stay at home dad. You know, you relied on their money here. Holy Spirit. So tell me, singles love, we have the hangman here. I feel like with the singles love, you have this person that is thinking about you day and night. Could be a Pisces here. All they can do is thinking about you. Okay. Why is the hangman here with the singles? Singles. Hangman with the singles. March 2024. Hangman singles. Two of Wands. You guys are coming together. This person may live in a distant Sagittarius, but I see it's like this person is coming towards you, the single Sagittarius, to give you the world. Like this person wants to give you the world. They want to travel with you, Sagittarius. They want to come together with you. They could live in a different location than you. But if not, I feel like this person just wants to come together and just make things like happen with you. All they can do is think about you. Wow, the emperor. They may have their own business here, set business here. They may be an Aries. All right. Holy Spirit, what's influencing the hangman with couples? What's influencing the I'm so ooh, no, no, no. What's influencing the hangman with Sagittarius singles? What's influencing the hangman with Sagittarius singles? What's influencing the hangman with Sagittarius singles? Thank you. Like the video, Sagittarius. Wow, Queen of Pentacles came out. Hold on, let's see. What's the influence of the hangman with Sagittarius singles? Look at this, the Eight of Swords. Oh, wow. This person is like, all I can think about is Sagittarius. And I don't want Sagittarius to know that. I have these emotions for them. But all I can think about is my Sagittarius single. Hangman, Sagittarius singles, hangman, Sagittarius singles. The rider, this person rated ride for you, Sagittarius. Passion here. They news messages. They want to communicate so bad. Okay. And we have the sky danger. Um, accident warning, sudden harvest surgery here. This pa this person, they feel like you dangerous, Sagittarius. They like dang it's something about Sagittarius, you know. Sagittarius a ball, Sagittarius got that power, Sagittarius just they know what they want. Like Sagittarius, they end their energy this month. They like Sagittarius. I'm kind of afraid of Sagittarius. Okay, just a little bit. Sagittarius is a boss here. But this person, all they think about is you. And with this two of wands, they want to give you the world, Sagittarius. Wowzers. Yes. Give me something on this right quick, Holy Spirit. The hangman, Sagittarius singles. Hangman, Sagittarius singles. Renewal. Okay. Renewal here. A call to fulfill your destiny and important milestone here. Wow, independent. You are a natural leader. You don't have to go with the crowd. Follow your intuition. This person's following your intuition here. They're definitely single. They're independent, Sagittarius. And I feel like, you know, they had to do some um spiritual work to get themselves together from situations also. And with them, I feel like they healed all their heart chakras, all the chakras they had. They feel they they feel they fulfilled this. They healed this. Okay. Wow. Could it definitely be a Pisces, Sagittarius. Let me know. All right. So what's going on in your um, career, Sagittarius? We got the high priestess energy. I feel like you guys are keeping something hidden here. You guys could be starting a new business or something like that. But it looks very well the way that it's panning out. Why is the high priestess in Sagittarius um, career? Why is the high priestess in Sagittarius career? Look at you, baby. You Like, I'm going against all the odds, Okay. I'm going against all the odds. I know who I am. You know, I don't care what people think about me. I'm going to do it anyway because, you know, people think that a black, the black cat represents bad luck. And you're like, baby, I don't, that black cat love me and I love that cat. Do you know that I could do all things? Okay. Wow, the Sagittarius, you are doing your thing here. The sunflower, the sun is shining on you. There's a lot of success around you in your career at this time. All right. What's influenced the high priestess and Sagittarius career? What's influencing the high priestess and Sagittarius career? What's influencing the high priestess and Sagittarius career? The world. Look at that. The world here. We have the two of cups and the eight of wands. Something is picking up momentum and speed. You're signing some type of contracts here. Sagittarius with high for injustice here. All is fair for you, Sagittarius. Okay. For some of you, there's a lot of success. All right. Where you are definitely in a job here, Sagittarius, and you're embarking on some type of journey um, to be an entrepreneur, possibly, okay? Um, let me see. Wait a minute. Let me clarify this. Why is this world here? 
and Sagittarius career. Why is this world here in Sagittarius career, Holy Spirit? The King of Cups. Some, I mean, you're in love where you're at, okay? You're in love where you're at here. Let me see. Why is the world here and Sagittarius career? The snake, deception, cheating, intelligent desire, seduction, unworthiness. Hmm. So for some of you guys, you know your worth and you could be ending a job here, Sagittarius, because you know there are snakes to this job. You don't trust this job. You don't trust this situation. You're ending this and you're doing better for yourself. What's the high priestess here in Sagittarius career? High priestess and Sagittarius career. High priestess and Sagittarius career. We got clouds, confusion, negativity, unclarity, doubt, worry, uncertainty. All right. So I feel like some of you guys are keeping a secret what you've been going through in your career. All right. And you're leaving this situation with the world. You're ending this, Sagittarius. It feels like it was like a long cycle here for you. Let's go on a Sagittarius career with the high priestess. Sagittarius career with the high priestess. Inventor, mastermind. You have the iniquity to create anything your heart desires. You guys know that you're a creator. You know, you, you know this, okay? And I feel like now you're getting a bigger picture of what you know, what you know, what you have, who you are, where you're going here, trying to build a bigger picture because you know that you have, there's money coming in. I'm going to read that at the end. There's money coming in within your bag here. All right. Give me one. Why is this high priestess? Sagittarius. Um, why is the high priestess Sagittarius? Career. Career. The mystic. Okay. Embrace psychic abilities. You have amazing understanding and knowledge. Vibrancy, stand out. You were born to shine, inspire, however, avoid jealousy, maintain humility, happiness, inner joy, to release expectations, enjoy the day, let worry go, and choose love. Where's it at somewhere else? Sagittarius. I just feel like in your career, you keep I feel like you're keeping something a secret. You're doing something that you love here, but I feel like you're ending something, a job or something here. To go towards something better because there's some type of negativity or confusion at a job here or in your career. Some type of uncertainty. Okay. And you could be inventing something new like a new job here, Sagittarius. Um, inventing. Um, you could definitely be inventing something literally. Or just going toward a um, your entrepreneurship, Sagittarius, where you're getting out of the job scene. And this is what you're working on. You're finally able to do this. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. So right now, the Six of Swords is in your money. I feel like Sagittarius, whatever you're doing, you're going your money. You're going toward common water, Sagittarius. It may take a little bit of changing, or to leave something that's familiar, or to leave something that you're doing familiar, Sagittarius, to get to your money. Why is the Six of Swords in Sagittarius money? Look at this. I told you, it came back out. King of Swords. I feel like Nine of Swords here, and you're you're clear. The Wheel of Fortune. That's what holy spirit wants you to focus on i feel like this king of cups energy you are in love where you're you're in love with you're doing and you're in love with your money like your money is, is there's a lot of success for you six of swords energy what's influencing the six of swords and sagittarius money what's influencing the six of swords and sagittarius money the emperor i told you there's that boss energy baby some of you guys are definitely like sagittarius you are and you are in this power energy you're able to provide now before you wasn't you know like you were you were able to do it just a little bit now you're able to provide for yourself and your family and other Sagittarius in the month of March you're in this, this space of joy here and it's because you trust the situation you've been patient you met your shadow self Sagittarius to figure out hey I'm not going to hide who I am I'm going to be exactly who I am I'm not afraid all is fair things is working in your favor here Sagittarius you're going to be celebrating here there's happiness here for your success and you're getting the bigger picture. It may not look, look like the pick a fence anymore, but you're painting your picture of how it's supposed to look for your future and your life. Okay. In your money, Sagittarius, Six of Swords energy, you guys, I feel like some of you guys are di dis disconnected from a job here and you're going towards your entrepreneurship, Sagittarius, with the Six of Swords. Okay. Yeah, prosperity. <laughs> and this is taking you toward prosperity. Look at you. I can't make it up. Good fortune, a life of luxury and abundance awaits. So it all, I mean, if you're not in a this business thing, Sagittarius, it's because you're changing your mindset, Sagittarius. You're ending this job where you were stuck here, Sagittarius, and you're leaving you going towards something better. All right. Some of you guys definitely have to travel towards this job where it's going to give you this, this prosperity, this success, this leadership. 
um, this control of your finances, your money here, Sagittarius, and you're going to be in love with your money here, okay? And I'm not saying it in a crazy way, but just like you're so fat, satisfied of what you have because it's coming in. Wow. And it's going to, you're, you're going to be overcoming obstacles here, Saggy. Why is the Six of Swords, Sagittarius money? Six of Swords, Sagittarius money. We have the ship, okay? We have the ship here. Travel, vehicles, movement, journey, change, and distance, okay? And if you're not if you're not moving to go towards some to go towards a job or go towards something to make money or or business or whatever like that, Sagittarius, um, with your career and finances, you're changing something. You're making a change, Sagittarius, to create something new for you. All right, Six of Swords. Your money's it's gonna be it's gonna be smooth sailing. It's gonna be a bitter bitter beginning because you have to disconnect from something, okay? Or you're afraid to, but it's going to be a blessed beginning for you, Sagittarius. Young, youthful, innocent, playful, beginner. Some, you're, this is the beginning of something, Sagittarius. You're starting the beginning of something for you. Your money's looking good. You guys could definitely be losing a job or leaving a job, at Sagittarius. But I feel like it's going to bring you so much happiness that you never expected here, okay? Choose love, all right? No worry, choose love. In your advice here, we have the Seven of Cups. Holy Spirit is letting you know, Sagittarius, you have many options here. You need to think about the options that comes towards you. All right. So you need to make sure that you read it directly. If you need to contact a lawyer, read it. Make sure that, that you're taking the best option for you, Seven of Cups. And the advice, Seven of Cups and advice here. Knight of Wands. Yeah. So Holy Spirit wants you to take action, Sagittarius, but make sure that you read the fine detail before. Okay. Take the time to think, Sagittarius. What's influencing the Seven of Cups and the advice? Seven of Cups and advice here. The judgment. Look at you. There's a rebirth for you, Sagittarius. There is a rebirth for you, a new beginning for you, Sagittarius. But it just requires you to walk away from something because you're going to be celebrating, okay? It's a new beginning for you, Sagittarius. I love it. What is the Seven of Cups, Sagittarius? Advice. Sagittarius, you're going through a rebirth. You're, I mean, Wow. The, the ending of the old and start of something new in the month of March. And go towards there. They want you to go towards what you're passionate about and advice. Knight of Wands goes towards what they want to, what it, what drives them. Fire energy, okay? Aries energy. Good luck. Blessings. Your luck is changing. Prepare for a favorable outcome. Wishes will be granted. The judgment is here. That's your energy. Wishes will be granted, Sagittarius. Seven of Cups for Sagittarius. Holy Spirit. Thank you. Garden. Look at you. Look how fruitful you are. Public network group audience fame outdoors. You guys can work outdoors. There's a lot of good luck for you, Sagittarius. Wow. Wow. Oh, my goodness. R grief, religious fate. Leave it at the cross, Sagittarius. This has been an awesome reading. This has been an awesome, beautiful reading, Sagittarius. I mean, the energy is magnificent. I love it. I love it. Sagittarius, I feel like it's so much energy here. You need to um, rewind it and watch it all over again, or at least listen to it. You ain't got to watch it. Just listen to it in your earbuds or whatever, Sagittarius. This month of March, Sagittarius, your work that you put in, it's okay, baby. It's working out. All is fair for you. All is fair. I do want to read before I do the pick a name. All is fair here. All is fair. Um, no, in your bag, 32. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. Number 32, in your bag. Like the video if you have not, Sagittarius, subscribe to the channel, all right? Um, so, new job, side hustle, a physical gift, direct deposit hits, okay? That seems like a miracle to me. Something about, so there's a miracle about to happen. This card means there is an opportunity to make money. The universe is dropping hints about where, where you thrive and money matters and where you can make the greatest return on your efforts. It's up to you to take the opportunities that present themselves. And there is opportunity here for you, Sagittarius, but are you going to take it? That's the challenge. The four of wands, there's an opportunity to have this house, to have this stability, to have this celebration, to have this marriage or whatever, Sagittarius, it means to you. But you have to put something to the side and take the blessing for what it is. You have to be able to take the leap of faith, okay? It's, it's here for you. The side hustle, this whatever you're doing, you have something here for you to make this money, Sagittarius. Holy Spirit is like, Sagittarius, just put joy in your heart. Trust the situation here. Do everything with love. Regardless of the fact, make sure it's with love. 
If people don't like you, make sure it's with love. It doesn't matter. Okay? If you're able to provide for somebody who doesn't have, help them out, Sagittarius. All right? Also, when you're being adaptable, here's this octopus on this card here. You will put yourself in many opportunities because you're able to adapt through things, Sagittarius. Okay? You're, you're in your personal power. The emperor. We have power here, too. Then we have the emperor energy. You're in your personal power. You're transforming yourself, Sagittarius. And it's like you deal, you, you've been de dealt these cards and you're dealing with it. And I mean, it's coming out the way it needs to come out. Just trust. You've been patient, Sagittarius. It's been a, it's been a minute now. Yes. And it's like so many options are here for you with the Seven of Cups, Sagittarius. You just have to go towards it. You have to get on that horse and ride, baby. Ride. Like a rhinestone cowboy. Okay. Yeah. There's a rebirth of you and your life and your situation. Things are a new for you. This is a new garden. You you know what's in the garden? All these fruits and vegetables, all these luscious, juicy things that you can eat. That's coming in for you, Sagittarius, okay? If you just take the action here. Some of you, got, you, some of you are definitely in the public eye, audience frame. And if you want this on your mind, this this, pub, this publicity, this you know money, you have to put yourself out there. Show the people who you are. Do something different, Sagittarius, okay? Good luck here. Blessings. Your luck is changing. Prepare for the favorable outcome. Wishes will be granted. Wow. I love it, Sagittarius. Ooh -wee. Look at that booty. I don't know where that came from. Ooh -wee. Some of you guys may be working on your body, you know, whatever. I'm about to um go ahead and pull the pick a name. Give me just a minute. I'm going to pull some trinkets for you first, Sagittarius. We have the star here. We have the two of cups. Definitely love is here for you. Wine. We have the elephant. Okay. We have the um some December. I'm thinking of December, but the snowflake. We have the bird here. I feel like that's a seagull here. And is you. Let me get one more, Sagittarius. We have the heart with the key. Somebody's unlocking your heart. Okay, Sagittarius. Um, you're falling in love. You have love here for you, Sagittarius. It is loving yourself, enjoying your wine here at the star. Okay. Yep, Sagittarius, the feather. All right. Wow, Sagittarius. Oh, let me get this. This will be the last one. Holy Spirit, let me do your self-care oracle. Self-care oracle for Sagittarius. March 2024, self-care for March. Here we go. Get a reading. Okay, if it don't, it's not for me, Sagittarius. Get it from somebody else. Use divination to understand your desires and path here. Get a reading, okay? We have self-exploration. Peel off the false persona and get to know yourself to find your truth. And I feel like that's what you're doing in the month of March here, Sagittarius. Let me see the next biggest um, change here in March. Holy Spirit. I don't know. What you want Sagittarius to know? What's the next biggest thing for Sagittarius? Or what do you want them to know here, Holy Spirit? What's the next biggest thing coming in for Sagittarius in March or whatever? You tell me, Holy Spirit. Lower. Okay. Thank you. Sagittarius, it is up to you. It's up to you, Sagittarius. The clock is winding down here, Sagittarius, okay? Very soon at the bottom of the day. So it's up to you, Sagittarius. Sadie, this is a very beautiful reading. I love the energy, guys. If you claim it, say I claim it, all right? Let's go ahead and get to the pick a name reading while I clean this up. Give me just a moment, Sagittarius. It is up to y'all. Get a reading here. You are the visionary. Good luck is coming in for you, Sagittarius. Your money's looking good here. Wow. Singles, you got new love coming in. Couples, I feel like you're going to heal your partnership because you've been through a lot. Holy Spirit wants you to focus on the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius, where it is things are destined to happen for you, okay? Destined to happen for you. So it's all about you making that change and going towards it and taking that action here. All right. Um, yes, yeah, Sagittarius. Ooh, we. I love the energy for you, Sagittarius. So let's get to it. All right. Um, oh, pick a name reading. Sagittarius, if you'd like to win a pick a name reading with me in the next month. So um, what you need to do, like the video, guys. Um, subscribe to the channel. Comment your name below. And it may be you that wins the pick a name reading next month. All right. Sagittarius. So the pick a name reading is who won? Do, 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 jump roll, jump roll, jump roll for... Kim Lovejoy, Kim Lovejoy, congratulations, Kim Lovejoy, you have won the pick a name reading, all right, so let's see what's coming in and love for you, Kim, what's coming in for love and career, 
Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, this is for Kim Lovejoy. Let's see what's coming in for her love life. Kim Lovejoy, March 2020-24. What's coming in for Kim? Um, thank you, Sagittarius, for all your love and support. I truly appreciate each and every one of you, okay? Uh, all right, Kim Lovejoy here. Kim Lovejoy, what is this for Kim Lovejoy? Kim Lovejoy, March 2024. What's coming in in love for Kim? What's coming in for love for Kim Lovejoy, Holy Spirit? Thank you, Kim, for subscribing to the channel. Thank you. Um, Kim Lovejoy. We got the Emperor. You got somebody stable coming in. What is this for Kim and love? What's coming in toward Kim Lovejoy, March 2020-24? Kim Lovejoy, March 2020-24. Thank you. Ooh. All right. So, Kim, look what's going on. All right. So, we have the Six of Swords. I see that you're leaving a situation, Kim. I see that you're not fulfilled in a situation with this person all right um you're disconnected you're this is not what you want you're turning this down and i feel like you're standing your ground and protecting yourself protecting your energy also and ending something here it's like you're no longer fulfilled with this situation and what this person has to offer you okay um i see that whoever this person is may be sending you a message out or sending you uh, a text message to reconnect with you or to say something to you but i feel like you're really disconnected from this person and this is coming to an end okay so let's clarify really quick. Kim Lovejoy. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Kim Lovejoy and Love. March 2024. What's the Four of Cups here? Four of Cups. Kim Lovejoy. All right. Yeah, divinely guided here. Trust your journey. Your connection is protected. All right. What's the Four of Cups here? Kim Lovejoy. We got the King of Wands. You're taking charge here. What's influencing the Four of Cups? We got Wishing here and Ripped Apart. So you've been so vulnerable in love here. And I feel like you something has been exposed. Um, I feel like right now you're just thinking about things in your head, Kim. Mm-mm. No. This is this person. So it's like this person is trying to trust the journey to you. This person wants to come in and and take charge now before they did not this person i was wishing that they were with you here and it's like they're tired of suffering in silence and now they want to come tell you how they feel but is it too late kim because we have the ten of swords in your energy it's like even though that there was an ending here it was a blessing in disguise why is this knight of cups here for kim lovejoy knight of cups energy knight of cups here knight of cups thank you we got ghosting here we got ghosting um we have ace of pentacles here and we have the Ten of Swords. So after something is ending in the March, I feel like this person is coming back. You know, there was something painful here. And um, I feel like this person now is coming back after this ending came to give you something steady here. Like this person didn't give you the closure that you wanted. They're not giving you this or you didn't get this. So there is a situation that's ending in March here, okay? But now this person wants to bring you a gift. All right. Why is the four, Seven of Wands here for Kim? Seven of Wands and love here. We got the Hierophant. Wow. Page of Swords. This person's watching you. Two of Swords. And the Six of Cups. You may have two people that you're dealing with here. Okay? And I feel like this person is really thinking about you, but I feel like you are just protecting yourself. You could be doing a Taurus. But this person is watching you. Why is the Hierophant here, Holy Spirit? Why is the Hierophant here for Kim? Yeah. So someone is giving you mis mixed signals. Like you don't know exactly what they want here. And I feel like that's why the connection en en ended here, okay? Holy Spirit, what's going on here with the Ten of Swords? For a wand. So a marriage is ending, a relationship is ending here. Wow. Somebody is really focused on their money and it couldn't even, it, maybe it's not even a person that is per, like they were focused on. Maybe they was like focus on their money so much. They didn't give you the time and attention that you needed. Or you guys, you know, this person didn't have what they needed to have. Like they didn't have their money up the game. Okay. The five of cups here. So I see a breakup, Kim. I see a breakup coming, but why is this happening? Why is this breakup coming? Why is things ending here with the Ten of Swords? Why is a breakup here? Because someone, so this person was hiding their feelings here. Why is this ending happening? Why is this breakup here? You may have heard about this, something about this person. Why is it ending here with Kim? 
Three of Pentacles. This person may have had somebody at work that they were dealing with. Wowzers, Kim, I'm sorry. Hmm. I'm sorry, Kim, for that energy. I, I only can say what it, you know, I only can say what a car is say, you know. I only can say what it, but you're going to our common waters, Kim, okay? Whew, Lord Jesus. Let me see. What's coming in for Kim, March 2024? What's coming in for Kim, love, joy, holy spirit, and love? What's coming in for Kim and love, 2024, March? What's coming in for Kim and love? What's coming in for Kim and love? I told you you had a secret crush. Somebody's in regret. You're meeting somebody else here that, that's watching you. And this other person is in deep regret. They're drinking a lot here, whatever they're doing. But I see that you're going to be single. But I see that you're not going to be like lonely single, like you're happy being single here, okay? Um, but you do have somebody that's watching you while you're going through your healing process, Kim. Yeah. So you're single and you have a secret crush. What about a secret crush for Kim? Love your way. Secret crush. Storm warning. Wow, I feel like I feel like they're gonna come in and you don't even see them. Secret crush for Kim Lovejoy. Secret crush for Kim Lovejoy here. Addiction and breakup. Wow. Unfinished business. This still could be this old person watching you on social media. They can't, they can't, um, they can't get over you, Kim. Mm -mm, not at all. Let's look at your money. Kim Lovejoy, money, career. Kim Lovejoy, money, career. I don't like the energy that came out for you, Kim. I'm sorry. But that, I guess that's what's, what's going on in March, okay? So, right now, your wishes are coming true here, okay? You're meeting somebody that you want to have real passion with. Because I'm like, Holy Spirit, I want to get a general reading for Kim. But you want to have wishes coming true. You're meeting somebody that you're going to be real passionate about. Okay, give and take. Oh, be open to giving and receiving to keep the flow of abundance going. Give someone a chance and ask for what your heart desires here. So, there is somebody coming in where in the month of March, I feel like this person is going to be new. And it's going to be up to you to allow this person in, Kim, and not to be blocked off. Real passion. Stop wasting your time and dead-end jobs. You're fine. Your true passion is fine to experiment, but don't settle for less than you truly deserve. So right now, I feel like you may be we're in a situation or a job, Kim, where you do not like. And it's now time to go towards something that you're passionate about and stop wasting your time here, okay? Frozen. There may be a hire and freeze or no new work now. Be aloof can Leave you out in the cold. A warm follow-up gets you in the air. So you need to follow up to a job. Or if you apply for somewhere, make sure you follow up and say, Hey, I am I want this job. Or I just want to check on my application. Because this is how you want to get the job you show interest. Okay. Limitation. Obstacles are not what they seem. You can get around them with some careful thought. Or simply choose some things better for you. So you may feel like you're limited here, but you need to think about things different or choose a better option here in your job aspect. So wishes to come true. Your wish is being granted, but it may not come in a way you expect. No worries. It is just what you need. So you've been praying and hoping for things, a job or business or whatever like that is coming in for you. But you need, you need to be open to the ways that may it may come in and not the way that you feel like it needs to come in. OK, Kim. Wowzers. OK. Okay, now. Okay, Kim. Let me get your practical oracle here. Holy Spirit. What does Kim need to know in self-care? Kim, joy. Love joy. Self-care for Kim, love joy. Have faith here. Remove the doubts and questions. You are ready to step into your blessings and claim what is already yours. Stop stopping and have faith, Kim. Okay. Sagittarius, this has been your monthly reading for March 2024. A lot of good energy here. All I ask you, Sagittarius, if you feel a little bit of blessing from this or you feel inspired by this, just you know, any good energy by this, or you may resonate with this, Sagittarius. All I ask is for you to share with somebody else and hit the post notification bell, guys. Okay. 
Also, please make sure that you like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment below. Um, join a member, Patreon Sagittarius. It is the first link in the description box below. Um, we get all the extended readings, all exclusive readings without any um, ads. All right, Sagittarius. You also get your one question um, answered in death twice a month. All right. So Sagittarius, when you click, click on that first link to Patreon, it'll take you to um, the first option member support badge the second option will be the patreon okay i love you sagittarius have a blessed and wonderful march all right sagittarius i'll see you guys later talk to you later guys bye